Now you are watching the great mission. It works better than calculator and a computer. Don't you believe? This journey leads you to learn wonderful mission. And in this journey, you will cross many more amazing things. So, shall we start? If we want to learn this, we should know the history of this. In the past, our early man knows how to hunt, how to create tools and weapons etc. But he was confused how to calculate. Earlier, he starts counting with fingers. But with his fingers, he cannot do bigger calculations. So, he decided to invent new method to solve this problem. Some years later, he learned counting with pebbles. Then, he started collecting rounded soft pebbles, which is nearby floating water. Let us see one related example. How he was counting with pebbles. Earlier, cave dweller kept sheep and developed sheep forms. He needed their skins for clothing, their milk and flesh for food. Naturally, he hated to lose even one of these valuable animals. So, he collected pebbles, that is, one pebble for each sheep. He dropped one pebble for every sheep while letting out of the form for feeding. And he took one pebble out of the pot for every sheep while returned to the form. If he found a pebbles still in the pot, even all the sheep back to the farm, then he realized that he lost his sheep and start searching. On the other hand, if he took out all the pebbles in the pot, but sheep are still coming to the farm, then he understood that his neighbor sheep are coming to the farm. Thus, a bunch of pebbles may have been earliest calculating mission. We have a simple evidence here. If we look up the word calculate in the dictionary, we will find that it comes from the Latin word calculus, which means pebble. Some years later, man came out from the cave and learned how to build houses, doing agriculture, making pots, clothing, crockery, etc. He could not use himself. He traded to others, swapping his products for things he needed. The growth of trade came with the beginnings of a money system. For maintaining this money system, an accountant is needed. He must know the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Babylonian peoples, who were before 5000 years ago in Asia Minor, had a written language of wedge-shaped characters. Paper was unknown then, so the writing was done on soft clay tablets. Some of these clay tablets still exist in various museums around the world. The Babylonians used a system of numbers which also had the strange wedge shape of their letters. Let us see some of their signs. Are you watching this symbol? This is not P. It is related to our number 1. Now you are watching the symbol of 10. If Babylonians wants to write number 6, they keep 6 ones like this. To subtract 11 from 16, first they set big number 16 and they remove one ten symbol and one symbol. So the answer is 5. The Egyptians who built the great pyramids had something Babylonians did not. It was a kind of paper known as papyrus. 
it is certainly easier to write on a scroll of paper than on clay tablets. The Egyptians had much advantage over the Babylonians. But when it comes to number system, there is not much choice between those of the two people. Let us see some signs of Egyptians. This is number one. It is a vertical stroke, not much different from ours. This is the sign for 10. It was supposed to represent a heel bone. This is the sign for 100. It looks like a scroll. This is the sign for 1000. It was a lotus flower, a plant the Egyptians loved. This is the sign for 1 million. This is mean to a man holding up his arms in amazement. To the Egyptians, 1 million was tremendous sum. In Hindu Arabic system, 1 million is equals to 10 lakhs. Naturally, we write from left to right. But Egyptians was totally reverse. That is, they wrote from right to left. Egyptians were careless about their number system. After Egyptians, the Romans, who set up their great civilization a thousands of years, had a variety of signs in their number system. Some were adapted from alphabets. Let us see their symbols. 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, 1000. The Romans had one draw, the Egyptians did not. When a sign of high value is placed before a sign of low value, the smaller number is added from larger number. For example, V means 5. If we keep 1 at right side, it says 6, that is 5 plus 1 equal to 6. If we keep it left side, it says 4, that is 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. But don't ask their multiplication and division. They were dreadful. Nobody today uses them to calculate with. There is no need to. We have a much better system now. The modern system of numbers is called the Hindu Arabic system. Because we proud to say it was invented in India and came to the western world by way of Arabia. The 10 signs of the modern decimal system are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0. But some thousands of years ago, as per Spanish manuscript, the numbers were like this. In Hindu Arabic system, place values are like this. Units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakhs, ten lakhs, crores, ten crores, etc. In units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If 10 starts, 0 in units place, 1 in tens place. In tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. If 100 starts, 1 more to 100 place. In hundreds, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800 and 900. If 1000 starts, one more to thousands place. Like this, from right to left, the place values are increased. So, what we understood? Only once in units. Tens in tens. Hundreds in hundreds place. Try to say this number. 1289. In this number, nine ones, eight tens, two hundreds, one thousand are here. Now you got the place values. Okay, now we are going to see what is the first step had taken our ancestors for Abacus. Our ancestors simply traced a series of horizontal lines on the ground like this. The lowest line was for units, the next higher for tens, the third for hundreds, the fourth for thousands. Here they put into one. Next ten thousands, lakhs and so on. If they want to write 342, they keep 2 pebbles in units place, 4 pebbles in tens place and 3 pebbles in hundreds place. 
If they want to add 152 to this number, then 2 pebbles in units, 5 pebbles in tens, 1 pebble in hundreds place. Here, pebbles are more in tens place. To count this, takes time. So, they will keep 1 pebble between hundreds and tens line instead of 5 pebbles. Now taking answer is simple. Here the answer is 494. Some years later, horizontal lines became vertical lines. They kept rods instead of lines with beads instead of pebbles. They provided some gap to move pebbles up and down. There are many opinions on the subject. But most historians think this early abacus was first created in Central Asia. From there, it spread west to Europe and east to China and its neighboring oriental countries. Europeans did not care for it. They prefer doing their calculations on paper with pen and ink. The Chinese, on the other hand, took to it warmly. They realized they could do their computing much faster by sliding beads than by writing figures.